Hello everyone, this is Sergei Vaklikov and you're watching Real Russia Channel, the deepest insight into the real Russian life. Now I'm on my way to the city of Niftikamsk, almost 200 miles from the city of Ufa, fourth biggest city in my republic in Bashkortostan. Going there to the Niftikamsk because one of the biggest mobile companies of Russia, Megafon, is going to open LTE Advanced Network, high-speed internet. Just not far from the city of Niftikamsk, here is Ashit village, and in this village is the memorial to the oil well number three of the Arlan oil deposit, the one which was opened in 1950. Uh, five, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, oil deposits in the Republic of Bashkortostan. And now let's go to Nefikans. Ramil. Hello, how are you? My English little bit, sorry. Together with us, Maria. Masha from Russia. <laughs> Hello. What can you tell my viewers about the city of Nefikans? Я могу рассказать о названии его. Название города Нефтекам состоит из двух корней. Это нефть, потому что здесь очень много нефти добывают, и Камск, потому что он находится на реке Кама. Ребят, есть кто в канале? The stadium, which is called Tarost, суровая Россия. They love NWA here. Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Behind Taros Stadium, that's where Megaphone placed their equipment for providing LTE internet. You will see what makes. Hmm, it's pretty cool here. So that's what provides LTE advanced high speed internet from Megaphone. <laughs> local television и сегодня мы торжественно запустим сеть LTE Advanced в городе Нефтекамске поехали central square of Нефтекамск and I love it because I love all the places where still a huge Soviet era flavor and here it is because it's a huge square it's a uh, flowers right there it's a five floors Khrushchev buildings. It's a bust of Lenin. And the building of the administration of the city, which is made in a style of late Soviet Union constructivism. Dmitry, he is one of the best photographers of Ufa. Allah from Megaphone. We want to test uh, and to make a little battle between Samsung and uh, Apple. We want to see <laughs> which smartphone will be uh, faster Got and it. will uh, show the speed of our internet. Are you ready to Are show? Ready to show? <laughs> Test of LTE advanced. But I don't. Downlink oh. 156. Oh. <laughs> Uplink 40. Uh, maybe Uplink. my iPhone is <laughs> ill today. So Android was uh, two like 0.5 times faster yeah but I can tell you that actually everything would go over 60 anyway it, it doesn't matter because this is more than you really need yes after a test of LTE advanced technology it's time for a lunch we came to fair bar which people call here farsh farsh bar it's a lunch time That's what I've got for three dollars. This lunch set here is a soup with the meatballs. Here is just a piece of meat with the rice right under this salad. And this is a garlic 
garlic sauce. Мы как будто на уроках английского языка. It was a nice shit. Вкусно, но долго. Свидание. Мне кажется, нельзя было заходить, но я как-то прошел. Now there's going to be a cultural program in the place which is called Nikola Berezovka. This is the village not far from here. Добрый день. Здравствуйте. This is Fyodor Dmitrievich. Uh, he knew all historical facts about this region and about Nikola Berezovka. And he will make excursion for us. Сейчас направо, да? Нет, нет, чем прямо. I don't know what about you, but I I really love an old buildings with the columns, like this. Вот мы здесь находимся. Такого единого снимка нет, он склеенный из частей. Yet in the 70s, Fyodor Dmitrievich photographed this panorama himself, and he actually uh, made it out of several shots without any computers. This is what is left out of man monastery that used to be here centuries ago Amazing historical central street of Nikola Berezovka. You saw historical buildings there was there. Some of them are renovated, some are not, but all those, you know, houses, they used to belong to well-to-do people, like a tradesman uh, centuries of years ago. The central object, this is a cathedral. This is the museum inside of the cathedral. Вот эти вот окна. Вот это сегодняшний. Not too many of such museums where you can touch everything, not only watch. Well, here, mostly as far as I can see, the households, you know, tools, furniture. Panorama from the highest points of the village from the tower of St. Nicholas Cathedral. The river that you can see now, this is a Kama River, one of the biggest in Russia. I really think that it was worth to drive over 200 miles today from Ufa just to see this scenery. I'm not too much religious, but I love visiting such a places like this cathedral from the point of view of a nice architecture. I loved it.
Вам налево надо налево. будет свернуть камень. Very last point of today's trip, just a shore of Kama River. The guys wants just to make a quick dive, and so we go. Comment, like, and subscribe, guys, and keep supporting my channel with a Patreon. One more thing in the end of the video, which I promised already for a long time to one girl, to Daria from Real Russian Club channel. You guys often asking me how the foreigner may learn Russian as a second language. So that is what her channel is all about. Go to her channel, Real Russian Club, and check it out. See you. Hello! Поехали! Поехали!